Hello, my name is Gary Howell. I'm the founder of Morgan Walsh Consultancy. We provide IoT services to local government and also commercial companies. We're going to look at the water sense distance sensor from SenseEdge, in particular how to add it to the Things Network version 3. The water sense sensor has a laser diode here in the middle which emits a beam of light uh, that is reflected off the material you're monitoring and receive back at the sensor where the distance is calculated. This could be rubbish in a bin or say a water in some sort of container. The water sense device is relatively small. It's just short of uh, four inches wide and one inch high. It is made of a very robust plastic material. There is an aluminium retaining ring around the outside to help with mounting and a smaller ring on the inside which retains the perspex cover and the rubber grommet which prevents water ingress into the device. Adding a device to the Things Network version 3 requires a dev and app EUI and also an app key. The dev and app EUI are already on the device and need to be retrieved using an Android app called WaterSense and we'll have a look at that now. So here on the Android phone, we're going to start up the WaterSense app. And then resting the phone on the sensor for a few seconds will read the sensor settings into the phone. Here we have the device and EUI and app EUI, and these should now be copied and sent over to the device where you normally manage your Things Network, probably your laptop or desktop. Switching now over to the Things Network console, we have already selected, or rather created our application called uh, BIN Level Monitoring, and we're now ready to add this device. Selecting End Devices, and then Add End Device will start the process. We'd like to add our sensors manually rather than the automatic way, so we're going to select Manually, over the activation, and select the LoRaWAN version, which is 101, and then Start. Here we enter the Device ID, the App EUI, and the Dev EUI, which were previously copied from the Android app, and the End Device name. On to Network Layer Settings. For us, we're going to select Europe, and then this is the Class A device, so Class B and C should not be selected. On the Join screen, we're going to generate a new app key, and this should be copied and sent over to your Android app for use in a moment. Then Add End Device, and switching over to the Live Data tab, we can see that the device was indeed created on the Things Network. Switching back to the Android app, we've pasted in our app key, and we now need to write all of these settings to the sensor itself. We do this by clicking the Save to Water Sense button, which is found at the bottom of the application screen. The device should then be placed over the sensor and left for a few seconds for the settings to be sent to the device, and this is confirmed with a pop-up message. And switching back to the Things Network, we can see that our join request has now been accepted. As a matter of interest, the MIC mismatch shown here is because previously the sensor was using an incorrect app key and the Things Network was correctly rejecting it. The sensor is now connected to the Things Network and ready to send its distance measurements uh, as per its schedule and for that data then to be used in your own end user app. We hope this has been of some interest. If we can help at all, please do get in touch. Thank you very much for listening.